Hello, this is Gary Fox, and we're back again with the second video on QUCS. Uh, so I'm going to start the program, and what I'm going to do is create a new project, and I'll call the project New, New, and we'll say it in Southern terms. Okay, so we have a new project started, and what we're going to do, uh, we'll go and draw a schematic on it. So we'll start picking some components. And uh, we're going to put a bunch of resistors in there. We'll use the American style resistor. Well, it really doesn't matter. Okay, when you click on something and it comes over, it's, it's drawn in uh, dash lines. Okay, if you right click, you can rotate it. And you can put it about the location where you want to. And... Uh, we're going to put in a couple of these and I'll connect them up as I put them in. Now I'm going to disconnect this one for a second and you'll see why. And I'll connect these two. You see it's giving them all a default value. And now we'll put in a uh, hit escape to get out of pasting that particular item. I'm going to put in some sources. I'm going to put in a voltage source, and this is an ideal voltage source, even though they draw it as a battery. And I'm done with that. And I'm going to put some probes in this thing. So I will put current probe. We're going to measure the total current going out to this thing. And we'll put a current probe over here to measure the current into this half. And I'm going to put a voltage probe, and I'll put it over here to measure the voltage across those two components, right there. And I think I've got everything I want. Okay, I've got to draw a bunch of ground symbols, and there's a reason for that, and I'll describe that in just a minute. So we'll ground all of these things, make it all common. Uh, in the U.S., we're not quite as clear on ground as you are in, uh, at least England. And there they call it earthing, if it's to true earth. But in America, we just call it all ground, and that's not really good. All right. Should have rotated that item. So let's escape for a second, and we will rotate. Need to rotate some more. Alright. Okay, we're going to draw some more wires between these. And I'll show you some tricks about the wires. Okay, as I move this wire over here, it's going, it's bending in the wrong direction. So if you right click, you can make it bend in the direction that you want. And the reason I'm doing the voltage probe here is that we're going to measure the voltage across one resistor. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and wire this uh, this leg of the thing. Can I do a right click? Uh, let's see, we'll wire from here to here. And then we will draw from there to there. And from here to here. Okay, one other thing we can do. Okay, I'd like to change some of these values. So let's escape out of the wire. And now we will click on this. We'll make this 50 volts. We'll make this 100 ohms. Make this one 50. We'll change this one to 25. And as you will quickly realize, I'm creating a very simple circuit here. 25 ohms. Okay, we're going to also determine what the voltage is right here at this one particular point in reference to ground. So we'll create a uh, label right there. We will call this thing... Uh, I'm 
not real creative tonight. And so we now know what that one is. Okay, so we are ready, I think, to simulate this. Let's uh, see, now I want to change some resistances here. I'm going to make this one 25. And make this one 25 ohms. I got 100 ohms. Well, I'm not getting it done. Reason wasn't wasn't cut was because I wasn't pressing enter button. Uh, I got 100 ohms through this leg, 100 ohms through that leg, 50 volts going across it. You can pretty quickly figure out what's going to what we're going to see by just using Ohm's law, which is the way I really prefer that you do it. But we're going to double check ourselves here. So now I need to tell it what kind of simulation I want to run. We're going to do a DC simulation. So we click that little button right there. And escape. And now we're ready to run the simulation. We'll simulate. Okay, we got to give this thing a, sch a schematic a name. So we'll call it new one. Save. And we ran a simulation. And uh, what we're going to do is look at the tabular form to get our answers. We'll put it about right here on the drawing. Okay, we were wanting all these meters that we have. We also want that one wire that we labeled. So we hit OK. And what I was doing there was double clicking on each of those. Okay, when we did our test, this thing has one amp going through it, PR2, it's an ammeter, it has a half an amp, which makes sense because we got the same ohms through both legs, and PR3 has 12.5, but I need to get one more, what happened to it? Uh, let's see, let's... I got a problem here, so I'm messing up. Let's delete, delete. I now put this down here. PR1, PR2, PR3 with a double click, and voltage one with a double click. Okay. Ah, here's our problem. I had it before, but I got a problem here that this thing is not wide enough. See if I can widen it out. All right, now we get to see the voltages. We got 25 volts drop across here, and that makes sense. We got 50 and 50 above it, 50 below it, so it should be half of what VN is, which is 50 volts. We got one amp going through it, through the hole coming out of the source. We've got a half an amp going through this leg. We've got 12.5 volts across this one here. 12.5 plus 12.5 plus 25 would make 50. And that's exactly right. And we're double checking that. The voltage between that point and ground is at 25 volts. That's basically a DC simulation. And how to draw a schematic very fast. Uh, you see it didn't take me very long. And uh, I had made a few mistakes in there. But uh, that's the way it's done. And it's relatively easy. You want to save it? Uh, it should be saved already. But we'll make sure. Uh, if we go to projects. New one. And we save it. And then we also go to new and schematic and content schematics. I'm going to save that. See what happens when I exit the program. It was happy. i pull it back up. And I go to new and. 
and I have my work right there again for me. So if I wanted to modify the circuit some more. So that's the way we're going to be doing a lot of work in the initial part of uh, in the next few posts that I do on uh, my blog. And as you can see, it was relatively easy to do. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something.